hello welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to take you through how to generate a profile plot for any type of microscope image that has fluorescent signal and previously you can find a tutorial on my channel that shows you how to make a, mod, a profile intensity plots for such images however this option is no longer working and that is because it seems the RGB profiler is corrupt, no longer working well in ImageJ or Fiji. Previously, you can click on data to export the generated data, the numeric values of these plots to an Excel document. And also you can use the more function to modify the color or the thickness of the line plot. And now all you can do is when you have your image that is in if you have your image that is in RGB format by after you've matched them together and you've generated a line of interest that you are interested in using this line tool, if you go to plugin and use the RGB profiler, I'm going to close this plot. If you use the plugin RGB profiler, it will generate this plot for you. However, you can see that the data and the more function is no longer an option meaning you have this plot that you can no longer edit to match your presentation or your report writing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to achieve the same purpose and be able to export the data now to Excel and then be able to make your plot. So you can see the same plot. I've been able to regenerate this in Excel document. And what we are going to do without taking much of your time is that if you have the region of interest you are going to work with into the into the Roy Manager, you achieve this by clicking on the image after you've drawn the line, you press the letter T on your keyboard and that will add the, locate, the coordinates of that line plot into the Roy Manager. So after you have your image, you can either merge the image to have a composite, this type of composite image, which means that you can move between the different channels. So if you see I'm on the C, it's showing that I'm actually selecting the channel one of three, which is the red channel. If I move the bar, you can see that I'm now in, uh, in the channel for the green. And also, if I move this, I'm in the channel for the blue. I'm going to duplicate this image for the purpose of this tutorial. So now I've duplicated this image. I'm going to duplicate that again without the... Okay, I will reopen this image. It seems I've embedded the line plot on it. So now we have the image opened again and that's our region of interest. What I will do is to first duplicate this image for the purpose of this tutorial. You can decide to either work with the composite image as it is or you can decide to work with the individual channel for the generating the profile plots that we're going to be working with. So how do you have the individual channel? You go to image, color, and then you select the split channel. If it Now that we've split the channel you can see that we have the three individual channels as an as a single image so i'm going to open all of them up and what i'm going to do now is to add the region of interest that we generated earlier on the image for the blue channel you can see that it's marking the location if i put this on the original image again you can see that's where it is so now we can generate the profile plot for the blue by going to analyze and selecting plot profile. This has generated the plot for the for the for the blue channel and we have the data and the more function just that we cannot add more data to this particular one. So what I'm going to do is to select data. I will click on save data and I'm going to save that as blue which I'm going to override because I've, I've done this earlier. So I will close this data now. I'm going to generate the same for the green by clicking on the region of interest coordinates. Select this on the image. You can see that's marked the same location. Go to analyze, the list to plot the profile. And now you have for the green, select uh, save data and that will save as green. It's okay to override, yes. And now I'm going to do the same for the red channel by selecting my region of interest, analyze plot profile. 
data and save data and that's now is our red channel so now that we've saved these three different channel individually if you want to have them plot individually you can go ahead by selecting more and then the content style you can change it by selecting that okay this is this data <clears throat> you want it to be appearing as red which is the red channel you want to increase the thickness of that line that's one of the function that the rgb profiler would have made us to do in a single go and then we'll click okay so you see that's the plot but since that is not working let's go to the excel document so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to save this as a result so that it's not showing us red any longer okay so these are our results i'm going to open the three different uh, channels at the same time so that i don't waste your time so we have for the blue green and red so this is green we just rename this gray value as green for this particular one for the other one we will rename it as blue and where's the red channel okay i didn't select it so i'm going to open the red also and then we'll rename that as red the next thing you want to do is to combine these three together by selecting rgb so we have the red I will select the green by selecting the oak roll and then coming to paste it here paste it beside and then for the blue i'll do the same select the O roll control copy control c that should copy it and then i light that roll and paste so now you see we have the three i'm going to close the other excel document so as not to cause any confusion And once you have the three of them together, you can try to check the length. They should all have the same length, uh, the same distance. By distance, this distance means the, the location from here to here in pixel value. Uh, so you can see that they are uniform. So we because we didn't move the, we didn't increase the length of our region of interest. Now all you need to do is to select your plot, and then go to insert. And choose the line tool to plot that data i'm going to remove the regression of uh, fit that image uh, that the excel document generated for it and you can see that we have the plots where is it so this is the this image this is our rgb image which if we tell it to plot using the rgb profiler rgb profiler you can see that the plot and the one we have in Excel documents is exactly the same. So that's how to go about this new way of generating your line plot, your profile plot for your fluorescent image. I wish you all the best with your analysis. If you find this video useful, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any, if you have any question, please feel free to write in the comment section so that other people can benefit from the answers that you're going to be getting. And also, feel free to drop me an email if you would like me to help you with anything. You are welcome to join the channel membership if you want me to do some analysis for you. Through joining the membership, I can do the analysis for you, upload it to members-only content, and that way you'll be able to view the analysis without, it, without the uh, other viewers having access to such video. And that is all for today. Goodbye.